U.S. earnings are gathering momentum, but this week kicks off some of the big tech names on Wall Street. For some technical analysis now, we're joined by Serge Berger from the SteadyTrader.com. Uh, Serge, good to talk to you. This week, uh, Microsoft, Google, or rather its parent company Alphabet, Amazon and uh, Twitter. Let's uh, take these in order of reporting and go for, for Twitter first of all. Um, for those that follow fundamental analysis, of course, it's been another very disappointing quarter for Twitter and profits seem further away now than ever. How do you trade this chart? Hi, Jeremy. Uh, good to be on. You know, Twitter is is just a very disappointing story, obviously, fundamentally and technically and in any other way you might be able to slice it up. I mean, the reality is that they're having internal struggles. I think the CEO there just has a potentially a bit of a, a bit of an issue letting go of, of his dual mandate and so the stock is an issue and, and really they're struggling with user growth and that and that quite frankly is the bottom line you know and it, market share is being taken away funny enough twitter as a company is being you or the, the sort of the the, the tool itself is being used by more and more politicians president trump being one of them but still the stock can't get going so really what we need to look for is some sort of news there that that the that the the user growth is accelerating quite frankly from a technical perspective the stock needs to give us some sort of meaningful jump and actually stick so at this point the stock unfortunately probably has to at least get above say 1550 15 dollars and 50 cents just some sort of a meaningful breakaway in order to sort of give the bulls a little bit of hope again and it hasn't done that now for some time and in fact when it did it the last couple times it faded very quickly so it's it's a slippery slope and and it just needs time to repair at this point okay so um you would you take a position or are you waiting for an indication to get a, a grip on the upside well generally speaking i believe taking positions ahead of earnings announcements is essentially a gamble over time we've tested this uh, it's about a 50 50 chance at best that you make money so i'm a big advocate of waiting for earnings to come out and then see if there is a trade to do a lot of times there may not be a trade to do but i think for twitter specifically if the stock can get a bounce and get you know like i said 1550 or above why 1550 because it's got the 50 day moving average there which is something that some of the chart chasers out there like to look at so 1550 and above if it can stick a landing and i mean stick a landing at least for 100 days above there might be a pivot you can use to trade it back to the upside but again it's it's probably gonna have to come on some real fundamental hopeful news out of twitter which most likely will have to be either some sort of a deal or again some sort of great amazing new engagement numbers or twitter user growth and i don't know if that's in the cards yeah okay that's uh, that's an earnings number out wednesday let's take a look at the thursday it's a really heavy day uh, inside and outside the tech sector we've got amazon alphabet and microsoft let's take amazon first of all yeah, so I mean Thursday is the big one, right? And if you look at the what we refer to as the Nasdaq 100, and, and maybe if you could bring up that chart real quick, the tech U.S. Tech 100, as you guys call it, uh, that's really you know made up of things like Amazon, Microsoft, um, Google, and Apple, and three of those top holdings are reporting earnings on Thursday. So this is really, uh, in that sense, you know, could be a make or break sort of day for earnings. Um, it's essentially all the same chart. So if you, whether you look at the NASDAQ 100 or the US Tech 100 here, or you look at Amazon uh, or Google uh, or Microsoft for that matter, they're really all the same chart. So specifically, if you we go back to Amazon, I mean, quite frankly here, it's entirely possible that we see an up gap. I say if the stock holds above 920 or so, we could see it squeeze towards 950. Interestingly enough, I was just looking at the options market earlier. The uh, stock is currently implying about a 30 to 35 point move uh, after earnings. So that's what the options are pricing in, the front month options. So that would get you to around 940 on the upside and then a downside, maybe down to 880 or so. So that's kind of your range. So if it moves within that range, there's not a whole lot that is unusual. It's only if it goes above and beyond that. So to me, quite frankly, I'm much more focused on being able to fade uh, a, a rally. So if Amazon were to rally, it would basically be almost going vertical through a multi-month lens. And I think it'd be a better fade than a buy because it's really at the upper end of its range is very much like the Nasdaq 100. On the basis that you identify the fact that these three charts we're looking at now, pretty much a replication of what we got on the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at Google, or I should say more accurately, Alphabet. Um, Alphabet trades uh, on all sessions on the IG platform, as indeed all these uh, tech stocks. You can trade these outside of ours. But uh, it's amazing, actually, how this company, along with the other tech stocks, have 
have really been uh, the benchmark, uh, the, the big uh, mover in the, uh, in, the, in the benchmark index, and they've, they've all hit in the same direction. They are, and that's really been the story in the U.S. stock market year to date is this continuation of some of these alpha trades, the Googles, the Apples, the Facebooks even, uh, and some of the other names that have really just accelerated to the upside. So for Google, it's – or Alphabet, as you said, it's almost the same story. You know, we're, we're at 880 right now or, you know, give or take a couple points. Uh, you know, quite frankly, any squeeze higher from here, any meaningful up gap or something like that after earnings – I don't see how you can how you can chase that. I think that's that would be a vertical move in the stock, and I would be very very cautious buying that. In fact, I'll be much more interested in either shorting it for a trade. Uh, there's option trades one can do, selling out of the money, call spreads, things like that. Um, so I don't think this is something you want to chase. I think you'd you'd, you'd want to wait for it to to sort of back and fill. If they if it gaps lower. Very much like Amazon, I think then you have to see how severe that drop is and if it can actually stick a landing. Again, it needs to be able to actually close down meaningfully on a one-day basis, not for the first half an hour of the trading day because a lot of times after earnings, things tend to move pretty quickly and they can quickly revert the other way around. What about, uh, what about Microsoft? I mean, to some degree, this is a company which has been around. This is old tech, really, although, of course, it's part of the new technology sector. Um, it, it has got a longer track record. Microsoft has been around for a heck of a lot longer than the likes of Amazon and Alphabet. No, it has. I mean, they have, of course, started to reinvent themselves with the cloud and all the other stuff that they're doing. Uh, the mobile business doesn't seem to be something that's one thing they can't seem off the ground. But a lot of other areas, they're definitely playing again. Uh, uh, there's also, you know, PC upgrade cycles, things like that, that, are, that keeps them alive. And they're acting very – the stock has been acting unbelievably well uh, pretty much since last summer. It's It's been, you know, a near vertical move through a multi multi-quarter lens. At this point, the stock's extended. I mean, it's it's again, it's if whether you look at a MACD like you have there, which is actually making lower highs versus the highs it it made over the past uh, couple of quarters. So that's sort of a, a sign of a lack of potential momentum there. So again, I'm not negative on any of these stocks through a long-term lens. It's just that they're all at the upper end of ranges and they're already exhibiting steep slopes, like steep slopes that have recently gone vertical, certainly in the part of Microsoft. Okay, look, it's uh, interesting talking to you. Thanks very much indeed for your technical take on these stocks that are due out with earnings. Serge Berger there uh, from Zurich uh, with us from SteadyTrader.com. Uh, that is uh, taking a look, as I said, at the uh, technicals. These are all all session stocks. It means they start trading at 9 a.m. UK time and they finish at 1 p.m. the following day. So it means you can get a bid on the stock on the IG platform at the time they produce earnings.